could just say the words. If the words would come out of my mouth, I'm gonna turn the music off. Hi guys, I'm Kimberly Cherry and I'm back with a, another video. I'm going to call it a video. I'm not calling this a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. I often don't know what I'm doing and I just make it look good as I go. Today I'm going to be trying something that I don't know if anybody's tried this before. Please tell me if you've tried this before and whether or not it worked for you. I have seen several YouTube videos on doing Sharpie watercolor slash tie-dye effects on canvas. Of course, me being the customizer that I am, I immediately thought, will it work on ponies? So today, we're going to find out. I've got a G1, My Little Pony. I've got a G3, My Little Pony, and a G4, My Little Pony. And the G4, I'm not really sure about. I think that the the big ponies are the same stuff as the little ponies, but I don't know, they feel a little different. So I don't, I, I might need to try this with the little pony too. Have you tried this with a little pony? Did it work for you? You'll have to tell me in the comment section if you've tried this and it worked for you. Today we're just going to try it on the big pony. So okay, we're going to start on this one because this is this pony is the reason that we're doing this today. I got this pony at a flea market in Pickens, South Carolina, two days ago, and uh, I believe this was party hat. I know she was a a, a, a magic message pony, um, and her symbols were completely gone, and I do mean completely. So all I did was just pull her hair back and for this custom we're going to go with purples and pinks. I know we're really shocked, right? I'm going to start with the darker colors around her hood. I've got some alcohol here with which to work with and of course my different colored Sharpies. Gonna, we're going to start with this girl here and I'm going to just go with the darker colors and go with a gradient up. And I'm going to do this on three legs, except for this one, which I'm going to do pink up. And I don't, I really, I should have researched this a little more before I started this. But this is how I do things, kind of, by the seat of my pants. And obviously, it doesn't really matter how messy this is. Because hopefully, when I take the alcohol to it, it will kind of diffuse the lines anyways. And I'm not really gonna be terribly fussed on the inside. Just a little bit. Cause we're not gonna be able to see this very well either. We're not gonna be able to see this. We're not gonna be able to see this very well. So there's one who oh I can see it now lots of fast forwarding this video. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fast forwarding in this video. Just 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 and that's okay because I amuse myself when I talk really fast and funny. Yeah, I definitely, if this works, I'm definitely going to go and get some fat Sharpies in the colors of these little Sharpies. Definitely, definitely, because wow, the fat Sharpies don't take near as long. Shocker. So yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, see what I'm doing. I'm just doing like little loopies around and around. Like these. Just get some uniform color going here. Whee! So now we've got a little bit of color going. And before I go wasting any more of my time or your time, I'm gonna go ahead and add some alcohol to this bad boy and we're gonna see what it do. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see what it do. Okay, 
And in order, you know what? No, in order to do this, I've just got 91% distilled alcohol. I'm gonna pour it into ooh, my little cap here. I'm going to be using just plain Jane Q-tips. Soak it really, really good, really, really, really good. And I'm just gonna dab it on here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's working! It's working! Okay, so since I know it's going to work, I'm going to be a little bit more generous. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, it drips. Okay, so not so generous. Not quite so generous, Cherry. Okay, oh, this is going to drop. So hard. I'm just see what I'm doing. I'm just tappa tappa tapping it. And it's giving it a very neat little watercolor effect. Hang on, where you can see. Okay, so it's working. It's definitely working. That's awesome. I wasn't sure if it would work on ponies and vinyl, but it do! Hooray! Okay, now because I'm curious, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pink around this leg here, and then I'm gonna get brave. And I'm definitely going to Walmart and buying more strawberries today, yay! Definitely, 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 because these little ones... Well, they, they work, obviously, but not so well. Now, see, look at these little, tiny, squiggly lines. They're so tiny! Real no. Real no. Oh my gosh, I am so psyched. This is working. Oh my god. And now, I'm really, really, really curious to see whether or not it works on the other generations. You will notice that I do not have any G2s out here to play with. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even look. I didn't even look. G2s are my least favorite pony to customize other than G3.5s. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any baby white ones. No, I will not. Oh, this is barely different from the color. Maybe I won't bother much with this one. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna take cotton ball and that on there. Um, I like the look of the cotton ball a little better, but I think probably I will use both just because the cotton swab gives me a little more control. Not only that, but I've got little cotton wispies now stuck to the Sharpie paint, whatever you wanna call it, off of the cotton ball, which I didn't have that problem with the, the Q-tip. <laughs> so it works, yay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It works on G1s, hooray, hooray, hooray. So. Moving on, let's see if it works on G3s. 